What's cracking guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. Um, I'm here in the garage. I gotta go through uh, what I usually have to go through every morning when I drive the Del Sol. Um, kind of annoying, but let's go ahead and check it out. Um, as of right now, the Sol is running pretty legit. I'm just trying to get this engine bay right here looking a lot more how I like it. But I have to deal with this all the time where sometimes I turn the car on and I have no clutch or it feels like it's slipping and I can't really figure out why. And I've kind of got it figured out. So almost every morning, I gotta come in here, check this clutch fluid, see how it's low. It's just always low. And mainly, I think I figured out why. If we look, so if we look right here, there's this little bend here, it's always dirty. And so I think it's leaking from right there because the hard line doesn't leak, but it leaks right here. And obviously, sorry about that, it goes right into the slave, which is another hard line, right? So I think that's the culprit. Oh, sorry. All right, so I think that's the culprit as of now. Um, but yeah, so um, I have a S2000 spacer for an S2000 clutch master cylinder. I just need to get one of those. I'm trying to save up for that. And then I'm gonna hit up JB and be like, yo, what's up with the clutch line, bro? You know what I'm saying? I need that shit right now because this is a fucking problem and I hate dealing with it. But aside from that, it's a beautiful day. Look at that sky nothing up there it's a beautiful day and i got some cool shit in the mail that i got to install today and i gotta get to the shop obviously it's like 9 30 so i'm kind of running late but mm, not really anyways um i'm gonna top this uh reservoir off and then uh, we'll be off we're back at the shop so got here got a park want to show you guys something right here so hopefully you guys can see all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got going on right here um, I think we made it you know what guys I think I think we finally made it and you know why I think we made it because your boys over at Oxbean hit your boy Christian up and said hey can you see at night and I said no no, I can't see at night because I drive a Del Sol. Our lights definitely suck. If you drive a Del Sol, you definitely know that's true. So they said, can we help you? And I said, yes, yes, they can help me. And so what they did is they sent me out a set of their Oxbeam headlights, their F-16 jet fighter headlights, guys. I don't actually think they're jet fighters, just F-16. It's the first thing that came to mind. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in my car right here because when I drive home later, I can't see shit and I'm low to the ground and I can see two feet in front of me. But that's fine because that's just the ricer life. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in the box. All right, what we have here is my engine bay and bam, we got this cool Oxbeam lights, F16, H4. Obviously that's what we have here in the Del Sol. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'll flip that on. Just come on, work with me here. All right, so cool thing. We got some cool Oxbeam stickers. You gotta have the stickers, that's half the power. You get a cool little pouch here. I'm not actually sure what's in this. Sounds like sounds like a DVD. All right, so let's go ahead and move these out of the way. Throw those up there for now. And here we got these lights. Check this out, guys. These are tight. These are tight. Let me hold this up. Don't fall. We got little ballasts here. And uh, all right, cool. So haven't had LED lights before, so I'm super juiced about this because honestly, I can't see at night. I'm not even joking, I, I literally can't see. So thank you to Oxbeam, thank you for hooking this up. Um, we're gonna definitely check these guys out. And I don't know if you know this, but in most Hondas, well, maybe Del Sol's, you gotta deal with the power steering reservoir on the driver's side, so that one's kind of a pain to get to. So to show you how to actually put these in, I'm gonna put it in on the passenger side, and it's broad daylight, so we can't actually make a difference. So I wanna go ahead and show you, check this out. Here's the LED light, it looks really awesome has a cool little fan in the back. This is pretty tight. I used to put like 10 of these in the PC days when I wanted to build PCs. So this looks pretty great. And then we got, got some dust on this shit already. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? What's going on? Anyways, all right. So we got F16 series. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a cute little ballast, not gonna lie. And we got the infamous h4 plug so this should plug in straight to your harness and uh hopefully we don't have any problems and uh if you've seen in other videos obviously it turns the fan on it keeps it cool because leds don't get crazy hot but i'm sure they will get really hot when you're high output like that but i'm really glad that the ballast is actually this small it's not going to cause any problems um and it should just lock in right to the oem location so 
A lot of you might have done this before, but if you haven't, when you take off your uh, when you take off your light, there's a little metal clip. You have to push it, pop that out, and then there's these three little prongs, right? You put that in the hole there, give it a little twist. I don't even think you have to twist it anymore. You just have to put it in there, and that's what the actual metal prong flips over and locks in. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. On a quick side note, I don't know if anyone's ever lifted their intake like this, you know, to get to this area. How offensive does that look, you know what I mean? Like you're walking up to your car and it's just like, damn bro, that's what you think of me? That's messed up. Alright guys, see me, see me down here now, now, now. Okay, first things first, you want to take out this shroud right here that nobody uses and you're lucky if you still have. So you go ahead and pull that back, alright? Now we got the shroud, you can set that aside. And here, right here, is the H4 terminal. So, like I said, luckily, Augsmean sent me the F16 version right here. We got the fan and here is the three prong. That is the three prong, it just plugs right in. So, since my connections don't ever last, we got these guys right here, they pulled off. And right here, I don't know if you see that, here's the ring, you give it a little push, this thing pops out, this guy, bam, there you go. So, so you guys can see a cool side-by-side -side comparison. Hopefully you guys can see that. You got the bulb, you've got the LED right here. Plus it's gonna look a little clean. These guys were actually still good, the Sylvanian or whatever the fuck you call them, but I'm gonna upgrade. So, like I said, so like I said, you guys got this thing, you got the three prong. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom this out. There you go, you guys can see a lot more. Damn, I should have done the whole thing like this. Anyways, all right, so it's a little overexposed, but that's so you can see this here in the darkness. You got the three prong, one, two, three. You go ahead and find those spots in here, pop it in and reverse the prong. Here we go. Boom, pop it in. Oh, you gotta stretch this thing around. You gotta stretch it around actually a little bit. Burn yourself on your radiator because you know you're an idiot and you fucking do this while your car's hot. Ow! Oh shit. Okay, we got it. And we're we're locked in. We're locked in and we think we have like a second degree burn on our arm. Let's Okay, we'll move on. Anyways, so you got this. You still got your plug. It looks dirty. I'll clean that later. Anyways, you take your plug, you go ahead and you put it through your shroud here. So that way when it rains, you don't, you know burn everything off uh, let's go let's go hopefully actually I think you put this over this right yeah but we're gonna have to maybe fish this guy through here maybe how do we want to do this really do we even need this still hmm yeah of course you still need it right so I want to pop this through here Ooh. all right that's through that's through. Jesus. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is like a tight fit. Yeah. All right, cool. Now we're through here. Flip this back. I think this is backwards now. Maybe? I don't know. Here, we're just gonna deal with this like this. Move this over. To be honest, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this shroud because, because it has a fan there. Um, this might actually make it too hot. So uh, if any of you actually know if I should be reusing these things, uh, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna leave it on for now and then we're gonna check this out. So. This basically, boom, check that out. Covers up. Honestly, not too bad, but like I said, the fan is in there. Um, I'm just worried that it's going to overheat. But, so, cool. We got this. Pop in the three prong. Bam. Install complete.
that concludes the passenger side install. It's actually super easy. On the driver's side, you just rinse and repeat. I just didn't want to deal with that because when I set up the camera, I can't really move the power steering uh, reservoir anywhere and then you just got to put your hand in there and you go by feel. So hopefully you guys got us, uh, hopefully you guys knew what to do right there. It's pretty simple if you've ever changed your headlights. Everything fits really, really well. Um, like I said, I got to figure out whether or not I want to run the waterproof seal, the little gasket dealy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, because I'm afraid it's going to overheat because even though the fan is going to be on, um, there's going to be nowhere for that heat to escape. So even though it's blowing air, it's just going to be blowing hot air at itself and it's not actually going to escape. So, um, I guess I'll find out if it burns out or I don't know, I guess I'll find out if it burns out, but all right, let me flip the lights on real quick. All right going over here we're going over here and damn okay in the daylight I could already tell a difference to be honest with you so I don't know if you guys can tell probably not but if we get pretty close you can kind of see a little difference and then you can kind of see the white right here right so that's super white I think these are 6k's and this guy is I don't know what it is a stock but you can actually hear the sound of the fan so wait, hold on if we, if, we, if we be quiet a little bit you might be able to hear it so yeah it's kind of like a worry noise it's kind of like a super high rpm fan um, those guys out there if you ever put in like some high intensity LED type fans in your PC back in the day uh, that's what it kind of sounds like so um, it looks really looks it looks super bright guys. I'm not gonna lie I'm actually gonna have to probably get LEDs for my side markers and well not my side markers but my turn lights and uh, Otherwise, it's gonna look weird. It's gonna be like a faint yellow and then a super white But so far so good the next thing you see will probably be some shenanigans Hopefully um, until it gets darker and then I'll throw in the driver's side like I said same thing and then um, Hopefully basically what I'm gonna do is show you the difference between the OEM light and the aux beam and then Maybe drive around like that too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's hot. I got to go inside. I'll see you in a minute. Show starts in eight minutes. Oh, yum, oh. yum. It's time for a taste. Of there you go. Hey, all right, guys. What's going on? I wanted to take a brief intermission, as you just saw, and talk about Ox Beam cool guys hit me up they were like yo check these out let me know what you think throw them in your car so that's exactly what I did like you just saw I literally just put half of them in the car so I'm really excited I can already tell in the daylight that they're really bright you know I leave in the morning I got plenty of light but when I go home it's super dark you literally can't see anything Del Sol headlights they're not that great I'm not gonna lie ask most Del Sol people the lights aren't that great and when you lower them you got no real view, not really much adjustability. So like I said, shout out to Oxbeam. They basically gave me a code, 15% off, good to the end of like, I think it's like midnight, June 13th. So tomorrow by the end of night. So use this code right, right around here. Yeah, what's up? Use that code, get 15% off, get yourself some of these F16s, uh, H4 bulbs, literally plug and play guys. You literally saw that it was real time. Like it took less than five minutes and you instantly have better light. These are 6K, like I said, you get this box, you get two stickers. The money, the money alone is worth these two stickers. High quality vinyls. Anyways, you got it on the box, well packaged, super awesome LED, like you guys have seen, super gold, high speed fan. This thing's actually pretty savvy. You turn it on, you hear it. Um, I'm pretty excited, as you can tell. So I just wanted to go ahead and throw that guys out there mid video. We'll see how they are at the end. But you know what, if you're already juiced, head over there. I got the uh, link in the description below. Click that link, F16 H4 bulbs. Use this code, 15% off. Get yourself a set. They're gonna be tight, dude. I guarantee you they're better than your Sylvanias that you spent 60 some dollars on for some OEM lights. They're already probably gonna be better than your 40, 45, 60 dollars Sylvanium blue lights that you throw in there and stuff like that. And these will probably last way longer. I don't know. I mean, we'll find out later how good they are. But for the most part, I just wanted to say what's up. Use the code. Good till tomorrow, June 13th at midnight, 11.59. So don't slack, dude, help me out. Get that boom, hit it, hit it, do that thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, I think I'm losing, I'm losing you, I'm losing you, uh. Que paso? This is the first time 
I'm never really gonna say daylight savings time isn't really working in my favor. I'm super happy that it's like eight o'clock right now and it's like still super bright out, but I wanna show you guys a comparison of the LED versus, you know, OEM Sylvian and Nian lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out right now because I gotta head out soon and so it's gonna get dark while I'm driving and I kinda want both. So we flick them on, maybe you can tell right on the lights and bam, kinda, kinda can't tell at all. But here we go. Maybe you guys can tell. I don't think you guys can in the video at all. But maybe you can here. There you go, a little bit better. We got this little yellow patch here and this huge white patch over here. It's basically looking kind of refracted though, you know what I'm saying? Like hopefully it's got some, some good reach on that. But yeah, it's uh, this little fan that they got in there is pretty loud, I'm not gonna lie. You can kind of hear it. But when you actually look at the lights themselves, you can kind of tell this one's definitely brighter and this one's just kind of dull. Uh, I do probably need to clean off the lenses just to spin around. Just... Jesus, that's why we can't have nice things. I'm trying to shoot a video here, Jesus, guys. All right, so I took this kind of like side road right here so you guys can kind of see the difference. You can see, I know I got street lights and stuff too, but hopefully we can go right, oh, this bump right here. I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but the right side is a little brighter than the left. It's not too much brighter, I'm not gonna lie. It's still nice though, it's still better than stock. I kind of like the, the 6K light, and I kind of like the way the LEDs actually spread. I don't know if you guys can tell while I'm driving. I wish it was a lot darker, that might be a little better. As my final, uh, would I buy these? I'll be straight up. I know it's kind of dark, but uh, maybe you guys can see me, see me right now. Yeah, you know, I'm driving around at night. Uh, definitely, probably would buy these over stock lights, mainly because I like LEDs. I think they're gonna last longer. I think they're gonna do better, to be honest with you. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied. Once I get into an area and it's actually super dark, um, I can definitely see the difference myself. But you know, guys, all you Del Sol owners out there. If you agree that you just can't really see at night, let me know why. I don't know why Del Sol's have really bad lighting. All right, guys, so we're in the garage. I got both these put in. I'm not gonna lie to you. The one thing I can't do for some reason is driver's side headlights. There's just, there's just an annoying amount of not enough room. I had to take the headlight out. I popped a zip tie. I gotta put everything back together. I think I actually broke the stupid little, two little tabbies that go like right here, cause I don't know if you have a Del Sol. There's two little tabs that go in the fender, maybe that's for Civics too, I don't know, but the Del Sols have one. But putting it back all together, the seam, the seam lined up. This one needs some work, but that side's cool. So that's, that's, that's really cool. Uh, anyways guys, that's about it for this review. I'm not gonna lie, these things are pretty cool. They're super bright. It sounds like I have two jet engines in my engine bay. So, you know what, I can't complain about that. So, like I said guys, wanna pick up a set for yourselves, definitely use the code right here, 15% off till midnight tomorrow, the 13th. And uh, I think they're worth it guys, over, literally like over the same price for a regular bulb. They're gonna last just as long, or I think they're gonna last longer. They're way brighter and uh, it's just, it looks way better. I need to get some LEDs for my corners and for my tail, so if anyone's got the hook on those, let me know in the comments below. I might as well LED out all of my stuff. Otherwise, guys, aux beams, F16, not too bad. Not gonna lie, pretty happy about this. But uh, anyways, guys, catch you in the next one. Use the code, say what's up in the comments below, and uh, yeah, guys, peace.